what you need to understand is God, hallelujah. How life in general and how God can take advantage of a situation. If you didn't know well, God Almighty does take advantage. For example, Satan, I'm not trying to compare, really, really, really like compare God with Satan. Or, 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 of course, God is greater, but I'm trying to sh show you something here. And by the way, you're watching me for the first time. I am Ishmael N and welcome to today's video. But here, listen, here's a message that you must get. Somebody, you need this. Uh, I try to be putting these messages at times and you might realize some, they are a bit similar, but they find that they are modified. It's because I don't put all in one video at times. At times I get a more revelation. You find that I speak something similar, but now it's extended up until when I realize that, you know what, this is it. Because somebody found that you might have had your message was to hear that first part. And you add someone else, the message that they have to hear is that. So that's why these messages can be like this. And I want you to understand something. When it comes to Satan, like how he went to Jesus, the, why did the, the, the devil man looks at time, the best moment. He, he thinks he is, is um, what is this? He's so cunning, you know, so like he schemes, he... He's so opportunistic. He looked at Jesus and he was aware that this man at this moment is hungry. So if I can go to him at this moment when he's still vulnerable, I'm more likely to be successful than when he's not hungry. Let me tell you, the devil cannot tempt you with something that you're not thinking of. The devil can never tempt me with hunger while I'm, I, I'm not even hungry. There's no way I can eat. I'm not even hungry. In fact, that food is disgusting me. The devil cannot tempt you with money while you hate money or you don't love money. The devil only tempts you what is more common to you. Hallelujah. That's why when it comes to uh, like things like fornications, adultery, most people, they fall victims because those are the things that they are, you know, they are more vulnerable to. When people are fasting, it is what most people are vulnerable to. Too, because he knows eventually you start feeling hungry. Hallelujah. So here's a weed for somebody. Life is like that. There comes a time where life teaches you itself. And, when, and there comes a time where God knows that at this moment you can, you, you, you can hear him louder or more clear because you're at this uh, position where you are all ears. Just like when you are fasting, you are more likely to hear God because your ears are all open. Just But when you are busy not praying, you are just doing all, everything. Even when he whispers, you won't hear and you won't obey him. Hallelujah. So where am I coming? God has a way that you must understand somebody. Somebody will begin to realize, will begin to see regret. Hallelujah. Will begin to come back to their senses. Hallelujah, because they've been given time because of how things will begin to turn up. Hallelujah. This is one thing you must understand. Somebody in your life will begin to realize, will begin to struggle. And that is what, how things are going to change. Like I always, I'm sure this is the most reference I've ever used in, this, in my videos when it comes to the protocol. He himself started to struggle. And as a result, he began to think of his father, where he is from, how things were better. Hallelujah. Listen, don't rush the process. Don't rush as someone coming back into your life. They need to also learn or experience life alone. And that's when they realize things are not the same. That's when they're going to realize, in fact, that's why, like, my one of the things that I think personally I love is if someone lives my life, whether it's a friend, if someone that I treated well, even when it's been in a love relationship, I don't really regret when somebody leaves me or betrays me after I've been good to them because that gives me a chance. I know it lives, in fact that opens up a huge room for the person to regret that leaves a huge room for the person to see my value in their life the difference that i was making in their life and how is that so 
the thing is you must understand that the majority of people in the world are not like are not are not so kind majority of people that we're living in won't do the good that you are doing to somebody majority are selfish and heartless and when there is somebody in your life you go good to somebody most likely if they decide on their own to live your life they are going to regret because most likely they are they say more there's a, there are higher chances that they are going to bump into a a heartless person someone who's evil someone who's more if they felt you're bad someone who's worse than you and they will try 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 different people and they still see that you know what almost everybody is heartless and that is when god can see that now they are vulnerable if i whisper into the ears of some boy this person this person is most likely to hear me better this person is most likely to listen and understand because now i can whisper they won't think that it's their own thoughts but they will it will they will hear and now also look at that look at the reality people are not well and now they will look back to god god can't you send someone who's kind can't you bring someone who's like this and that's when god can put inject a reminder into their mind that but God once gave you somebody who was good. You were in your life there was someone who was so kind. So what happened with that? And then they will remember that I'm the one who actually messed up. I'm the one who actually took advantage of that person. That is why now we no longer talking. And they will try 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 and they realize I've been around the world. I trusted too many people. but someone who's like this person na nah. and now when because they would have healed they would have become to their senses you know one thing you must understand about space and time is it erases all bad memories most of the time but only allow good memories to remain so they will most probably be thinking of the good that you have done that's why right. sometimes if someone is angry they will say give them time to cool off it works like that So God gets to you to talk to that person louder. That's why Jesus gave the parable of the prodigal. It was not a situation where a father has to pray God restore. Yes, you have to pray. I understand. You keep on praying. But you must understand why God is not answering that prayer at an instant. You are praying and he knows when the time comes this when is going to take over. But if you've not been praying for that even when the time where that person would hear God well and now come back to their senses just because he didn't pray when they think of it they still ignore they become more ignorant still although everything now is there that's why some people they forever they forever remain stagnant because even when god now talks ah they just wander in the one place so that's why you must pray for some god that lord restore this person because sometimes now the devil is the one who is taking advantage although god says they see the truth they can't repent they can't come and apologize now the devil wants them to never ever come back to the good life so that they still wander around and nothing good ever happens because they know that you were good in their life you're going to change their life you're going to do something amazing so you see what happening here hallelujah may god help you in jesus mighty name hallelujah so give it time give it time the struggle will happen and now that's when they're going to come to their senses on when only allow time and allow, allow the process there is no time frame specifically amen and may god help you in jesus mighty name stay blessed and if you want to contact me feel free bye bye